in that you all have left your other equally important activities just to come and grace our occasion. I want to thank you and uh, uh, wish you all the best as we join together in this celebration. Honorable Chancellor, Your Excellencies, distinguished and invited guests. The Open University of Tanzania, established by the second phase uh, government of the United Republic of Tanzania in 1992, has now grown to become the largest university in Tanzania, having centers in all regions of Tanzania minor, that is in seven regions, two centers in Uganda and Pemba Islands, and plus also operating uh, several examination centers in districts, in 13 districts of many in Tanzania. These are namely Korogwe, Manga, Karatu, Nguru, Mpapa, Gara, Chato, Serengeti, Kibondo, Kasuru, Ngozi, Kikuyu, and Masasi. Uh, we have already received several other press forms, a few more lists where we would like to just open examination centers. The Open University of Tanzania is the first Tanzanian university to operate outside the national borders of Tanzania. And currently, OUT has established through collaboration with other institutions operational centers in Kenya, Malawi, Namibia, and Uganda. The OUT has also its own campus in Kibungo, Rwanda, and will soon open another study center in Kigali, that is in Rwanda. An agreement has already been signed to adopt nearly 300 students from the University of Juba in South Sudan, who, due to the internal conflict in South Sudan, are stranded and wish to complete their studies in the Open University of Tanzania. And recently, only last week, we have signed an agreement with Santa Maria's University in Ethiopia, where we are being requested to offer our postgraduate programs to learners who are based in Ethiopia. So open, open, the Open University of Tanzania looks to increasing its presence through collaborating institutions in other countries, particularly Switzerland, Gambia, and Ghana, where we already have partners willing to work with us. Honorable Chancellor, the 30th graduation ceremony being held today is indeed a very, very special ceremony. We are all used to our graduation ceremonies taking place at the Bungo in Kiba. These are usually very mammoth ceremonies. Uh, many people, very far. Uh, but uh, this one is somber, held at our own premises here in Kinodoni. I therefore take pleasure to welcome our guests and all the people who have attended our ceremony to Kinodoni Regional Center. The area where we are seated is actually uh, a rented place, but is now uh, the home for Kinondoni Region Center, among the 27 region centers we have in the country. Honorable uh, uh, Chancellor, during this ceremony, as the chairman has already pointed out, we shall confer, in addition to several uh, uh, awards, two honorary doctorate degrees to two very distinguished persons who have made a significant contribution to the socio-economic development, uh, regional peace, as well as development in science and technology, locally and internationally. The process of nominating a candidate for the award of an honorary award of the Open University of Tanzania is very transparent. Any member of the Open University of Tanzania Senate or Council can submit a nomination. And once someone is nominated, the proposal is discussed at the faculty or institute board, then at the Institutional Research Publication Postgraduate Studies Committee, then at the Senate, and finally in the Council. Members of the Senate and members of the Council are required to vote separately for each as for or against the candidate through a secret ballot. And uh, as it has already been mentioned, since its uh, first uh, graduation, that was held in 1999, the Open University of Tanzania has already awarded seven honorary doctorates. So you can see this is a very, very, very rare award. 
today we shall have the number going to nine, and this is after almost uh, 16 or 17 years. In 1999, the late man Julius Kamrabi, the first president of the United Republic of Tanzania, was awarded the first, uh, uh, the first uh, honorary award, the Doctor of Letters, honorary sponsor of the University of Tanzania. Then in 2003, honorary Doctor of Letters, honorary sponsor degrees were conferred to the late Nelson Mandela, former president of South Africa, and His Excellency. Benjamin M. Kappa, then President of the State Trade Government of the United Republic of Tanzania. In 2004, OUT conferred a doctor of letters on the exposure to Dr. Kolchira Mashura. Mashura was the then the Director General of UNESCO. In 2006, OUT conferred the doctor of science on the exposure to Dr. Jane Buda who was a researcher working with the chimpanzee and gorillas in Gombe Street National Park. Then in 2011, uh, we had the honor of conferring the uh, honor of the Dr. Letters Norris Koza to the second uh, president of the United Republic of Tanzania, Dr. Ali Hassan Mwini, who is with him with us here. And uh, in 2013, we also offered Dr. Rose on his sponsor to Professor David Mera, who was then the chairman of the United Kingdom Telecommunications Academy. Honorable Chancellor, you may also recall that in 2014 we made some efforts to confer an honorary doctor to His Excellency the President of the United, uh, United States of America, Barack Obama. However, the time of his visit was too short and our being was not too successful. Honorable Chancellor, Your Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, as I have stated earlier, the Open University of Tanzania recognizes any person who has made contribution to humanity, irrespective of their nationality, and uh, as we see in the list that I just mentioned, uh, we have already seven candidates out of who only two are Tanzanian. <coughs> Nine uh, candidates of whom uh, 29 are female. I recall that only about a month ago, on the 16th of December, we held our 29th graduation ceremony at Bungo in Kibana, where 4,405 candidates were awarded various awards, that is, degrees, diplomas, and certificates. Let me now end my speech by congratulating all the candidates who have uh, who will be conferred various awards today. And in order to initiate the process of confirmation of the degrees, I now call upon the future vice chancellor responsible for academics to invite the orators to come one after the other and read the orations in the prescribed order. I thank you very much. Honorable Chancellor of the Open University of Tanzania, I now welcome the first orator from Faculty of Arts and Social Sciences to read out to Anyabaru Kare about the honorary doctorate candidate. Madam Chancellor, Vice Chancellor, uh, President and Vice President, my best comment on the ladies and gentlemen. First, allow me, Madam Chancellor, to say a few things before I go into the oration. One is that uh, I beg to apologize. Choose myself that I will not read the entire oratory speech. Those who need the details can go and uh, can access a copy, particularly members of the press. This is to economize your time, your time, as you say. I'm quite sure the audience here is much more interested in hearing the simply accepting. Say the word rather than listening 
to what uh, the orators are saying. The second thing is to draw the attention to the structure of the oration, the attention of those of you who are here. The report is a narrative, but it is a summary of the recipients as a curriculum written at the end of the speech. Those you, of you who want to see what they did, how we grew up in the soccer field, can go ahead and read. There are a few stages that I've said. In staying at Rukoba, I have a few things that I've said, but I'm not going to read that. So, this again is trying to manage time. Now, having said that, let me then go into the oration to justify why the Open University thought it was worthwhile to award for Congress contribution of Dr. Jakaya Mishotokwete to this country, the economic and social political development, to the economic and social well-being of our continent, and the international community at large. These are three key areas where we have zeroed in to justify that uh, it's time that this great university recognizes the contribution that this great son of our country has made to the country, to Africa, and the world at large. Now, Madam and Chancellor, I stand by congratulating you and pay tribute to the Council and the Senate for your decision to honor Dr. Yaka and Bishop Ikoti. With this distinguished award, a recognition of his contribution to the development and welfare of the people of the United Republic of, of Tanzania, Africa, and the world. Jakaya, as he is affectionately known, by his close friends and relatives, is a Tanzanian, and in that sense, he is our man. But Dr. Jakaya Mishukwete, as we all know him, is an, an uncompromising and Africanist. In that sense, he belongs to Africa. That is why he has tirelessly championed the cause of Africa in many international forums. As a firm believer in the equality and brotherhood of all humankind, he has effectively agitated for a more equitable international relations and greater democratic space in international organizations such as at the United Nations, the World Bank, the International Monetary Fund, and in the World Trade Organization. His participation and contribution in discussions of the World Economic Forum has been appreciated by his peers. And I, I don't believe they are missing they are missing in Davos. In that sense, our distinguished guest seated among us is a world citizen. But I must also pay tribute to you, Madam Chancellor, to the councillors and senators of this university for the thoughtful and timely decision to honor our distinguished guests today. Dr. Gakaya Mishik Patek has been honored by several universities, both within the country and Europe and from those outside the Africa. All in you know, all, he has to his credit. Well, in my council is very honorary doctorate. And more than five distinguished orders of merit. The award that the Open University of Tanzania will confer on him will be the twelfth, but it will be the first award that Dr. Jakaya Murisho Kikwete is receiving immediately after his retirement as the president of the United Republic of Tanzania. And this has a symbolic significance. For President Kikwete was elected on the 14th of December and sworn in on the 4th as the 4th President of the United Republic of Tanzania on 21st of December 2005. 
This occasion for him evokes memories of that day when he was installed to serve this country in the highest and very demanding office in our country. He has served in that capacity honorably and with distinction. So, Madam Chancellor, you have chosen to honor a hero, and heroes are by custom honored for an accomplished mission. <laughs> Madam Chancellor, I now skip the Musonga, Boba, Kiba, uh, Kibaha, and other things and start taking you through his career in public service. For obvious reasons, I will also skip his performance, his work within the party, as my former colleague. I will not dwell on that. Jakaya, I entered our public service and moved, moving away from the military and moved into politics through an appointment that was made in 1988 when it was nominated as a member of parliament while serving as the district commissioner for national work. He was immediately appointed as deputy minister of the Ministry of Energy and, and Minerals, the same year. He was appointed the full cabinet minister after the election of 1990, in which he had been returned to parliament as a MP for Bagamoyo. The new ministry who was brought upon to have brought together three sensitive sectors of water, energy, and minerals. Each of these sectors had at one time stood as separate ministries in their own right. And not only by its size, Dr. Gagaya Kikwete injected a new dynamism by initiating new policies, especially in the energy and minerals sector, aimed at attracting investments. He helped to contain smuggling in neighboring countries. When relations with the donor community was not at the level of this. Dr. Kikwete was the donor community closer and spearheaded reforms that saw the Tanzania Avenue Authority. After the election, he was appointed and sworn in as many soldiers after the election of 2000, thus becoming the longest serving foreign minister in the country's history. During his stay and policy, he spearheaded a shift from, from a foreign policy that had been dominated by politics of the liberation struggle in Southern Africa to economic diplomacy, one that was anchored on economic cooperation line to bring the ministry's effort in line with the policy priorities of the Mukapa administration, whose top priority was focused on poverty reduction through economic growth. The Tanzania hosted the presidents of the two powerful nations in the world that would it is in his administration that Tanzania hosted a group, namely President Hu Jinao of China in 2019, of China in 2013. He as well hosted President Bush, Jr., George Bush Jr. of the United States, Barack Obama of the United States in 2013. He was consequently elected to chair several meetings of the in 1997, the organization of which democracy in the same year. These international and regional committees continue to look as a share of the African Union in 2008, or as share of this African community in 2010, and chair of the SADAC organ for politics, defense, and security in 2008. And advice, though given in good faith, and was well received by those for whom it was intended, but was nevertheless not so well received by others. The world peace, international solidarity, has been recognized well. 
Dr. Jataya Muso Kikwete for confirming of an honorary degree of Dr. Mueta's in international relations and co co cooperation for Nomi's House of the Open University of Tanzania. Madam Chancellor, ladies and gentlemen, I thank you for your appreciation. President of the Chosun University of Korea for having been awarded 
But there's no change to the very fact that that exists. The National Cooperation simply entails collaboration and partnerships which have evolved and gained dominance after the Cold War. It involves a new directors and shapes important events and actions in the world.